أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام على محمد وعليه الطيبين الطاهرين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته and oh my goodness what an awesome day it's the birthday it's the wiladat of Imam Hassan al Islam 15th of Ramadan my goodness it's sad to know that half the month has gone but so amazing to know that it is the birthday of Imam Hassan known as the one who was the most honored of the Ahlul Bayt in this in you know in the same the one who was the most generous and such. We'll talk about him. But he is just phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. Let's start first with the recitation of Quran. Awdhuillahi mina shaitani rajim. Bismillahi rahmani rahim. Subhanalladhi asra bi abdihi laylam min al masjid al harami ila al masjid al aqsa alladhi barakna hawlahu li nuriyahu min ayatina innahu huwa as sami'u al basir What an awesome ayah to have on the 15th of Ramadan. Well, it's the first ayah of the 15th Jews and it's the first ayah of Surah Al-Isra or Surah Bani Israel. And yes, it talks about the prophet's journey known as um we could, you, you could call it mi'raj but isra wal mi'raj and this is the part the the isra part of it the mi'raj part you will find in surah an-najm and allah says um declaring his perfection subhanallah ladhi in other words declare the perfection of he asra asra is the one who made travel at night bi abdihi laylan so asra is part of the night his abd in the night, min al Masjid al Haram, from Mecca, ila al Masjid al Aqsa, to Masjid al Aqsa in Jerusalem, alladhi barakna hawlahu, and he has blessed its surroundings. Li nuriyahu min ayatina. We took him so he could see our signs. It's such an amazing journey. Inshallah, you can read about it. Um, Inna hu huwa sami al basir, and Allah is all. Um, Sami and Basir, all hearing and all seeing. This is a phenomenal eyes. Look up the journey of, of Mi'raj wal Isra, and you will find so much. You know, you will find the tour of the universe. So it's known as Isra wa, uh, Isra in Mi'raj. Uh, repeat again, Isra means a small portion of the night and actually refers to the journey from Makkah to Jerusalem. So never just call it Mi'raj. It's always Isra wal Mi'raj. And read about it. It's a phenomenal journey. But let's read the du'as for the month of Ramadan. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Ya Aliyu, ya Adim, ya Ghafuru, ya Rahim. Anta Rabbul Adim, alladhi laysa kamithlihi shay, wa huwa sami'ul basir. وهذا شهر أذمته وكرمته وشرفته وفذلته على الشهور وهو الشهر الذي فرضت سيامه عليه وهو شهر رمضان الذي ينزلت فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان وجعلت فيه ليلة القدر وجعلتها خيرا من ألف شهر فيا ذا المن ولا يمن عليك من علي بفكاك رقبتي من النار في من تمن علي وادخلني الجنة برحمتك يا أرحم الراهمين اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم أدخل على أهل القبور السرور اللهم أغني كل فقير اللهم أشبئ كل جائع اللهم اكسو كل عريان اللهم اكذي دين كل مدين اللهم فرجا كل مكروب اللهم رد كل غريب اللهم فك كل أسير اللهم أصلح كل فاسد من أمور المسلمين اللهم اشفي كل مريض اللهم سد فقرنا بغناك اللهم غير السوء حالنا بحسن حالك اللهم اكذي أن الدين وأغننا من الفقر إنك على كل شيء قدير اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم رب شهر رمضان الذي انزلت فيه القران وافترضت على عبادك فيه الصيام صل على محمد وعلى محمد وارزقني حج بيتك الحرام في عام هذا وفي كل عام واغفر لي تلك الذنوب العظام فانه لا يغفرها غيرك يا رحمان يا علام يونا رسالت دعاء for the 15th day of the month of Ramadan. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Allahumma rizukni fihi ta'at al-khashi'in. Washrah fihi sadri bi'inabatil mukhbitin. Bi'amanika ya aman al-khayfin. Oh Allah, on this day, grant me the sustenance of being obedient to you like those who submit to you or humble to you and expand my when you say expand my chest it's make me have a big heart through the repentance just like those who are submit to you or humble to you the way they they turn to you they turn back to you be amanika with your security oh the one who is the security for those who are fearful now today like I said, as a phenomenal day. The 15th of Ramadan is the Wiladat Ifama Hassan. So let's start off. Born on the 15th of Ramadan. He's the first grandchild of Rasulullah. You know, and is named by divinity because the Prophet tells him, Ali, you are to me like Harun was to Musa. And the two sons of Harun were called Shabbar and Shubair. And that's Hassan and Hussein. And his name was Shabbar, which in Arabic is Hassan. He filled the house with joy. Do you know what first grandchildren do? My goodness. And it is the first time Adhan in Akamo recited in anybody's ears was Imam Hassan. So that is where the Sunnah comes from. The first Akika that was done was of Imam Hassan as well. And there's a special relationship with, with the Prophet. You know, everybody's, we all know Hussein no minni wa ana min al Hussein. Hussein is from me and I am from Hussein. But it's exactly the same with. Um, with Imam Hassan. Hassan minni wa ana min al Hussein. Hassan is from me and I am from Hassan. My goodness, how much am I going to tell you about him? So, first, divide his life into three. You've got seven, 37, 47. Now, that's not that difficult to do because up to the age of seven, he is with the Prophet, with Rasulullah, right? Now, from the age of seven to 37, because at, at the age of seven to eight, his mom dies and the Prophet dies. So he's become an orphan. It was a traumatic childhood. Because remember, after the Prophet died, he sees them taking his father's rights away. He sees all sorts of injustices done. But him and Imam Hussein were like, I, they were so close to each other. They were, they made all the decisions, all the strategies they did were together. You know, they walked to Hajj together. 20 to 25 Hajjahs, they walked from Medina to Mecca. He led the army in the Battle of Jamal and Sifin. The Prophet used to say, Hassan and Hussain are Imamin, sitting or standing. They are Sayyidai Shababi Ahl al Jannah. They are the leaders of the youths of Jannah. Oh, he's just amazing. You know, he was the big brother of the family. Because remember, when Imam Ali marries Umul Banin, they have four sons. But he's the big brother. He, he sort of looks after all of them. He's known as Karim Ali Muhammad. You know, Karim is honored, generous, one who gives, but not keeps for himself. He was so generous. Today, ask Allah with the wasila of Imam Hassan. His generosity was just phenomenal. Now, Imam Ali dies when he's 37, and it's a tough time. Because um, Muawiyah is not, he's a politician, and a very devious one is that. So let's see what happens. You know, Imam Hassan goes to the mosque and he um, he gives a khutbah, he introduces himself. And he says, Man arafani, faqad arafani, wa man lam ya, ya arafani, ana Hassan bin Ali. Those who know me, know me. But those who don't know me, I'm just telling you, I'm Hassan ibn Ali. And you know, so many rush to plead allegiance, which means to say that we will promise to follow and obey you. But Muawiyah used his devious methods to cause chaos. He brought out the generals. He bribed them, and we know this sort of thing happens in politics. He bribed them, he caused fear, and then he sent a blank piece of paper to Imam Hassan, and he said, write down your conditions, and I will sign it. It's called a hudna, which means a ceasefire. And Imam said, Muawiyah will deal according to the Quran and Sunnah. Muslims will live in peace. He will not appoint anybody as his successor. He will not plot 
harm or harass Imam Hassan or Hussein. He would not curse Imam Ali because that was used to happen in the mosque. He would not do that. But you know what? He, Muawiyah just put it under his feet. And he said, this is what I think of it. He brainwashed people with a media machine and used lots of money to do that. He was just crazy. But you know what Imam Hassan did? He used that time. He actually changed the environment of hate against Imam Ali to recognition of the Ahlul Bayt. He undid 50 years of Muawiyah's media propaganda of inciting people to be against Imam Ali al -Islam. And it was because of him that Imam Hussain had these amazing supporters in Karbala. When Muawiyah realized this, he made an attempt to kill him. So you know what he did? He bribed Imam Hassan's wife, Ja'ada ibn Ashad, and he said, I'll give you lots of money and I'll marry you to my son, Yazid. And Ja'ada poisons Imam Hassan. Muawiyah gives her the money, but he says, I'm not going to not let you marry my son, because if you killed one husband, you'll kill another one. But he was just something else. So I'm just going to look at a little bit about his character, okay? Like, you know, you, you've got something on the screen there. We would say he would never sit alone to eat. He would make sure that everybody sat with him, even the servants of the house would sit with him. There was a man who came to Medina to abuse um, Imam Ali, and... Imam Hassan said, and he was abusing Imam as well. Imam said, wait a minute. You know, he said, are you a sheikh or sheikh? If you are hungry, we will feed you. If you don't have clothes, we will clothe you. If you need anything, we will provide it for you. If you are a fugitive, we will shelter you. Then you can tell us what you want. And these magical sentences, they changed a heart full of hate to a heart full of love. He started crying. And he said, Ashhadu annaka khalifatun fil ard. Allah knows best where to rest his message. This was, he, his whole life was based on tolerance, on humility, on forgiveness. You know, when he, when he agreed to that ceasefire, people, they told him, you are mudhil al-mu'mineen, you're the one who's, you know, who's, who's, who's humiliated the mu'mineen. They, they called him all sorts of names, but he didn't relent to all that. One of the things I like about him is that when he recited the Quran, people would just queue up outside his house because it was it just touched their souls. And the moment he says, Ya amunu, he would say Labbaik. So that's something we can take back. Whenever you read the Quran and you say Ya amunu, you can say Labbaik. But maybe you can read a lot more about him. We've got a booklet on the website that you can download. Many, many, many felicitations for today. For Shali Mubarak. It's a phenomenal day. But let's end with a Surah Al Fatiha for all the Marhumin. Bismillah ar Rahman ar Rahim. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Ar Rahman ar Rahim. Malik Yawmid Deen. Iyaka Na'budu wa Iyaka Nasta'een. إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين. Close your eyes, ask Allah to give the thoughts to all the marhumin, especially those of your family. Pray for those who are ill and those who are in trouble. لي خمسة أطفي بها هر الوباء الحاتمة المستفى والمرتضى وأبناهما والفاتمة. جزاكم الله خير إن شاء الله I'll see you tomorrow.